Expected to be a top pick in the upcoming WNBA draft, this two-time All-Pac-12 selection and 2018 Pac-12 Freshman of the Year has scored 1,475 career points while racking up 571 rebounds, 206 assists, 120 steals, and 73 blocks in 102 games as a duck. Coming in today by her sister, Niara, and cousin Aliu, and boyfriend, Jalen. Give it up for number zero, Sato Sabali. This two-time Pac-12 all-defensive selection leads the team with 51 steals and a pair of six steal games. Held the Ducks to rise nearly 100 spots in the NCAA stat rankings from last year in scoring defense. She has amassed 1,403 career points, 572 assists, 463 rebounds, and 272 steals in 119 games. Accompanied today by her mom, Sine, dad, Errol, sister, Araya, and other family and friends, let's hear it for number 23, Mignon Moore! This three-time All-Pac-12 selection has been Oregon's hammer down low since earning a starting spot as a true freshman. The 2018 National Power Forward of the Year, she is one of only 13 players in Pac-12 history to reach 2,000 career points and 1,000 rebounds. And she has raised her game even more as a senior with career highs of 17.2 points and 9.8 rebounds per game. Ranked number one all time at Oregon in field goals, number two in points, and number three in rebounds, she will graduate this term with a degree in journalism. Accompanied today by her mom, Dorothy, dad, John, brother, Isaiah, and family, put your hands together for number 24, Ruthie! Yes, she is the first woman or man in NCAA history to eclipse 2,000 career points, 1,000 rebounds, and 1,000 assists. And of course, she has demolished the record books with 26 career triple doubles. Oregon's all time leader in points, assists, three-pointers, and double-figure scoring games, and the Pac-12 women's and men's all-time assist leader. She is working on her master's degree in advertising and brand responsibility after earning her undergraduate degree in three years. Accompanied today by her mom, Lily, dad, Dan, brothers, Eddie and Andre, sisters-in-law, Taylor, and family. Give it up for the triple-double queen and face of college basketball, number 20, Sabrina Yanesco. Hi guys. So, um, well, I didn't think I would be here at the spot so soon. I mean, three years have gone by so fast and originally I thought that I would be here for four years. So I really just want to say thank you for your positive responses and um, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really a hard decision for me, but I hope you guys understand that I just wanted to leave with these amazing people. And um, yeah, I, I'm just happy that I can contribute to my family and they're not here, there's just a little, little squad here, but, um, <laughs> but I love all of them and um, I would say hi to my mom, my dad and all my siblings back home. Um, I miss you guys a lot and I'm really sad that you guys can't be here, but um, I hope that you guys will get to see me soon. But yeah, I mean, these ladies all here are a big family to me and I've made really lifetime friends and just sisters and I'm so glad to call Duck Nation really uh, the family behind my back in Eugene. So thank you guys. I'll miss you guys and I love you. Hey everybody. Um, I just wanted to give a big thanks to the coaching staff, especially for giving me this opportunity and believing me to come in my last year and playing a role on this team. So thank you coaches. <clears throat> um, I also want to thank my teammates. You guys are amazing. We're really a family, and you guys will be my lifetime sisters, and I'm so happy that I'm able to be a part of this um, journey with you guys. 
Um, my seniors, my junior, I'm so happy I get to play with you guys. Thank you so much, Sabrina, Ruthie, Satu. You guys are amazing players. You guys have crazy bright futures, and I'll be so happy that I'll be just a call away from you guys. So love you guys, each individually. <clears throat> and my family, of course. I love you guys so much. This is my family. Um, it, it takes a village to do something like this, and they stuck by my side through injuries, through everything, since I was a little girl, Cal Stars, high school, all that, all the way up to college. So thank you guys for supporting me. I love you guys endlessly. And it's kind of funny because the only team that I'll say I never beat in college basketball is Oregon women's basketball, so <laughs> wonderful. Um, but Duck Nation, you guys are unheard of, honestly. Like, When I was looking for a home for my last year, I really wanted to be a part of a community who support their women's basketball team like colleges support their football and men's basketball teams. And you guys go beyond those expectations. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, and I'm so excited to be a part of this journey. We have so much more left. And just thank you guys continue to support us through the tournament and all that. And thank you and go Ducks. So Sabrina's gonna talk me, as usual, just kidding. I was gonna say Sabrina's gonna talk for me, as usual, just kidding, I'm gonna say something. Um, I just wanna say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting us since my freshman year and coming out and staying after the games and giving us high fives and just making us feel loved here. Thank you to my seniors and junior. Thanks Mignon for opening your eyes and coming to Oregon. <laughs> Thanks to the rest of my teammates over there for supporting me and making me smile every day. And thank you to all these lovely people in my family right here for traveling to here in California and all the places to just watch me. So thank you. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and go Ducks. Wow, the house that we built. This is crazy. This is crazy. Um, just want to start off by saying thank you, of course, to my family who comes in almost every single, every single game, drives down and supports me. My family back at home, my club coach who's here tonight uh, with his family. Thank you guys for the endless amount of support uh, throughout my entire college career, high school, all of that. Um, Thank you to these wonderful people standing next to me. Um, this is one of the main reasons that I returned for this year, was to be able to stay, sit here tonight and, and be alongside you guys, and definitely alongside Ruthie, who I started this journey with. So thank you to you all, thank you to you all. Um, my teammates over there is who I do it for. Obviously, thank you to everyone here tonight. Um, you guys help us more than you know, and. Coming in my freshman year and, and seeing all these empty seats and having my friends be able to sit wherever they want and now they're all fighting over who texts me first for tickets. So uh, this is awesome and obviously we'll hopefully still have two more home games here. So uh, I'm, I'm praying you guys sell out those games. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who, who I've come in contact with. I'm looking around and I have so many people to thank, but that's going to take a while. So anyone that I know, anyone that I've ever talked to, anyone that I haven't talked to from the bottom of my heart, <laughs> I want to say thank you. You guys inspire me to be a better person and a better basketball player. But we still got some stuff left to, to achieve, so stay tuned, everybody. Yeah. 